It gets open right away if I want to throw it there and take it right away. But when he turns that field, he also gets open for another easy catch and run one play touchdown. And this is the exact same play with the exact same setup. We're going to get a very different result as the defenders run into one another, setting a pick, allowing this receiver to get wide open across the middle of the field for another one-play touchdown. The cornerback above the receiver on the outside here will match enough to give me a lane to throw to the outside where there's just nothing out here as we get another easy catch on one-play touchdown. As this particular uh, defender in the middle third can't react to it based on the fact that the streak's right behind him, allowing you to bomb it up over the other cornerback who just doesn't get back quickly enough for another easy one-play Play touchdown. The For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Man Money Shot, sniffing the man cheese as always. Got another offensive breakdown video for you guys today out of what's probably been one of my favorite offenses going back at least two, three Maddens, and that's the Baltimore Ravens. Now, this is probably one of the first ebooks I put out every single year because I love the gadget plays and the trick plays, and I'm kind of dipping back into it because this is probably the closest offensive playbook that we're going to see to uh, to college football, which is coming out pretty soon, uh, as far as like RPOs and, and you know all types of triple options and stuff. So I kind of want to get familiar with that before that game comes out i'm not going to go over that too much in today's video though but the particular formation that i am going to go over is the gun wing slot week and the play that i'm going to show you guys today is the ravens double post which is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game i'll also show you guys a couple of good plays with that because there is a couple of good dink and dunk plays especially run plays in this formation but before i do if you guys want to see more videos like this please make sure to be a subscriber hit like button in the comment section and if you need more help or more money plays you can download this ebook or any of my ebooks instantly send by clicking links in the description or the top pin comment. Now I'm going to start off with the small ball plays before I save the one play touchdowns for last because this has a lot of really good run plays, gadget plays, trick plays. Starting off with my favorite which is going to be the buck sweep read option. So let's go and let's pick that. Now as far as the read structure go, you got your read defender which is going to be the guy with the R above his head. You're really just going to watch him. If he crashes on the handoff, you can just keep it with the quarterback and make a run. Sometimes it's going to be best to uh, put your ball carry to conservative so the quarterback doesn't fumble. But that's not something that you necessarily have to do. Um, if you have Truss, like if you have Lamar Jackson lit up or something, that's good. But you could always slide as well. Just be just be careful because a lot of times quarterbacks can fumble more often than ball carriers. Now, on a play like this, I can make a pre-snap read regardless because no matter what that read defender does, I can always run away from him with the running back. And since that cornerback is pretty far back there, I can make the decision just to hold the A button and go in that direction. Although, here you can see I only got about five yards. But there are certain pre-snap reads that you can make. Things like that, things like man coverages a lot of times, you could try to force hold it with the quarterback. But at the end of the day, you still have to watch that R defender because if he hesitates, as you can see right there, we get a lot of space in the open field. Um, you know, that's going to be a really big run play. But I like this particular play because you have big looping runs in both directions. I'll try to hold it with the, the, the running back one of these times just so I can force a carry in that direction but you can see the quarterback's really going to be uh the biggest uh play a lot of times though people have set their uh, option defense to focus on the quarterback so in that scenario you can always like i said hand off to the running back you can see you got two pulling blockers uh making this a very consistent run to the edge no matter which direction you go to now that's my favorite outside run but you also have a really good inside run with the halfback base let's go and let's pick that so that was the best outside run play in both directions you also have a really good inside run play here i would get in the habit of motioning in this receiver because that's something i'm going to do a lot when it comes to the actual uh, pass plays so doing that on a run play from time to time will make it not so obvious when you decide to switch it up and throw but at the end of the day this is just a good run play if your opponent really starts to spread the defense and try to stop that outside run as you can see here i mean it's just a very consistent inside run but i'm not really expecting to hit home runs here now there is one more uh dink and dunk play and that's the pa a bubble y over so this play here pretty much have uh, two zone beaters on the running back and the Y on a bubble. And if you have man coverage, you want to put the B receiver on a tight end or the B tight end on a drag. And then you'll get either one of these crossing routes open as well. So this looks like an obvious man based off the fact that we did see two cornerbacks pressing on the two receivers. So that's a really easy read. But one of those two will get open every single time. You can treat it like an RPO and just watch the defender in front of the or in front of the uh, the wide receiver. And you can see here how this guy here, number one, he travels upfield and continues to go upfield, which is nice. You don't have that timing that you have typically where you got to either choose faster to hand the ball off or not, which is nice. So this play here really gives you RPO flexibility. 
um, but obviously it's not an RPO play. As you can see right here, we get that. This is a zone coverage this time, but you can still work those tight ends against man or zone. It's going to be the same concept. The user can't cover both because of the, the, the depths that they're running at, and it's just a really simple play to run. Uh, but like I said, I'd like to hit the running back too, but it looks like we're getting a lot of man coverage. So like I said, i got to go to my man check downs. You can see how easily they're getting wide open too. And then last but most definitely not least, we have the Ravens double post, which is also a good dink and dunk play to a certain extent, but it's mostly best for one play touchdowns. And the last but not least, we got the Raven double post. This play here is a one play touchdown against every single defense, in some cases, multiple ways. But I'm going to show you guys some dink and dunk things you can do with this play first. Let's go and let's pick that. We're going to tend to go random on nickel over. Now, this play here, you don't really have to make any adjustments, but I think putting the B receiver on a 10-yard in would be the best way to go to give yourself some high-low checkdowns. But I ultimately like running this play to the running back. As you can see right there, in man coverage, number one, the defenders ran into each other, which made it even easier. But this is something where, because the linebackers are so far back, that they really can't catch up to the running back if he's swinging out right away. This is very similar to something that I put out from the gun stack by flex that I still use a lot. As you can see, that route is really just about hitting him quick and running to the sideline. So that's something that if you do that enough, your opponent's going to have to, you know, put some resources to that to the point where it's going to be very annoying because you can see I'm getting 10 to 12 yards without really even trying. So that's probably my favorite, but if that starts to get the user to move out of the middle of the field, then you also have these dragging checkdowns. You have this 10-yard in, which they are obviously try to force to those. Like I said, I'll throw it to the running backs over the running back over and over until uh, my opponent uses that. And then, like I said, when they move, I'll be able to throw to one of these other routes, which is obviously uh, you know these, this high-low concept is actually the exact same as the gun stack white flex. It's the exact same concept, really. So this concept here works really well. But like I said, it's really more about the one-play touchdowns. Let's go and let's back out. And we're going to start off with Tampa 2 and work our way back. So let's go and let's pick Tampa 2 first. Now, like I said, in the passing plays, you're going to want to motion this guy in quite a bit. For cover 2, just put the Y receiver on a fade and then put the B tight end on a 10-yard out. Uh, the running back is an optional guy where you could obviously, um, you know, throw to him over the top of the cornerback. But you can see how this guy here splits the safeties very easily with that setup. For the running back, there's a lot of instances where he'll get open when he turns up field. On a play like this, you really just have to wait till he gets downfield quite a bit. And you can see that that tight end that's on like an option route will hold that cornerback when he stops. So this is a play that will work to two different receivers, although it's not necessarily going to be a one-play touchdown. It's still going to be a very big play, especially if you can get a good catch and run uh, like I didn't really get there. Uh, as you can see here, once again, that guy holds him up. Like I said, I'm trying to get a good catch and run. I'm just not getting it. I might, You might be able to get a good catch and run for a, a one-play touchdown, but um, you know that's something that I'll be happy just to just settle for a big play. Cover two man is going to be the exact same step, so let's pick that. This is definitely going to be a scenario where you're going to want to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field. And if you don't want to, you don't even really have to put the X uh, receiver. You don't have to motion the X receiver in. You can leave him out there, but it's going to be better if you motion him in. So let's go and let's make that motion. You can see how now the DB isn't in a position to press, uh, which is going to be helpful because you're going to see how he's just going to run right past him based on the fact that he's not down jamming him at the line anymore, making another very easy one-play touchdown against his defense. Next up, we'll continue with man coverage. We'll do uh, cover one hole. Against cover one, if you run it from a hash mark like this, you'll have two options, to the short side and the open side. I'm going to motion this guy in one more time, and then I have my choice of putting him on a slant just to try to clear out the side or putting him on a fade to try to help the wide receiver get open. But I'm going to try to get the running back this time. So we're just going to clear that side out with slant so that all the man defenders follow. And you can see how this guy's going to turn up field for an easy catch on one play touchdown based on the fact that no real linebacker or safety is going to be able to cover this running back. And I even throw the ball with good timing, but you can see how this particular route, it gets open right away if I want to throw it there and take it right away. But when he turns up field, he also gets open for another easy catch on one one play touchdown. Now, you can also get it to the Y receiver just by motioning this guy in and putting the X receiver on a fade. And that's going to have the same effect as far as pulling back the safety. As you can see, the defenders run into one another, and this Y receiver gets wide open across the field for another one-play touchdown in a different direction. And this is the exact same play with the exact same setup. We're going to get a very different result as the defenders run into one another, setting a pick, allowing this receiver to get wide open across the middle of the field for another one-play touchdown. Play also has a lot of success against man zero, so it's going to let's pick that and finish off all the man coverages. For man zero, you're going to want to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field, make that motion one more time, and then fade the X receiver once again. We're also going to check and release the dragging tight end so that um, you know we can get a little extra blocking. But you can see how we create the same confusion. These defenders run, run into each other one more time. And we have another very easy one-play touchdown when he crosses the field. 
The running back's a good option as well, as a lot of times you won't the, the defender that's man to the running back won't be in a good position as he'll have to like cross the field. As you can see right here, I could probably throw that ball right away. But if I wait for him to turn up field, he's gonna get open again anyway, as we get another bad catch animation. But you can see the defender was nowhere near stopping this play. So another option to get two different one play touchdowns in two different directions against man defense. Now we'll go ahead and we'll do cover three next, cover three sky. Against cover three, you got two options. Uh, one of which is kind of new where you can motion across these tight ends or one of these tight ends. It really doesn't matter, B or A, and put them both on streaks. And you'll see how that will force the cornerbacks to match in a way that gets this running back wide open outside here for a potential catch and run one play touchdown. The catch and run might be difficult. The timing might be a little bit hard. It's really timing specific as you'll notice that the cornerback above the receiver on the outside here will match enough to give me a lane to throw to the outside where there's just nothing out here as you get another easy catch and run one play touchdown. You could also throw to the receiver by motioning in the X receiver and putting the uh, X receiver on just a straight up streak. And this will get you to the Y receiver just as long as he doesn't get jammed up too much. As you can see here when he crosses, uh, there's a, a lot of opportunity because for some reason the short routes pull that cornerback down on the other side. And you can see how the receiver scores once again as this particular uh, defender in the middle third can't react to it based on the fact that the streak's right behind him, allowing you to bomb it up over the other cornerback who just doesn't get back quickly enough for another easy one play touchdown. Play also has success against cover four and cover four match. So we'll go and start off with cover four quarters. Against cover four quarters, just running from a hash mark, motion this receiver in and put the Y receiver on a fade. And then I'll just put the B tight end on a 10 yard out route. And you'll see how the X receiver will get open once he crosses his defender's face. Even though there is another guy waiting around to help out, he's just gonna be too low based off of the 10 yard out route. You could also run that okay, same ahead, setup to the running back as we'll put the wide receiver on a 10 yard out route one more time and you'll see how the defender that's supposed to match the running back probably just can't keep up as this is just something it's essentially like a man coverage so there's a possibility for catching one play touchdown but it also can just be a big play which is pretty good and then last but not least we have traditional cover four so we'll go ahead to the dollar for that and pick cup for drop you can run this play as is and the running back will get open underneath it uh, because of the way that these guys just cover the receivers, but it's not necessarily going to be a one-play touchdown unless you can somehow get past that cornerback. Against cover four, we're going to do a little bit of a different setup. I'm just going to motion out the B tight end and put him on a comeback. Then I can put the A tight end on a streak, and the comeback will pull down the cornerback on the outside while the streak will pull back the safety. I mean, you just have to basically watch the pass rush until your wide receiver gets across the field, which is pretty easy considering that the cover four is not really designed to get a lot of pressure, and you have another one-play touchdown against the hardest defense in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays, more money plays out of the Ravens offense or just any offense in general, let me know in the comment section. Make sure to be a subscriber. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.